Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I have purchased the 2022 Toyota Tundra in the Platinum version, and that is arriving in about two to three weeks time. So I'm super excited about that truck, but it has been delayed a couple times. So I'm really hoping that it won't get delayed anymore. But in the meantime, I have a really interesting project to look up all the different type of accessories that I might want to buy for the truck so that I can try to get it a little bit more customized than a standard fare. Some of the accessories are obviously OEM offered, some are third party ones, and some I might just custom build myself using my engineering background. So I'm kind of thinking all kinds of ideas as to how to dress up that uh, Tundra, although I don't plan to make it into a true off-roader at this point, like this render I created a while back. That project is going to be reserved for the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro, which I hope to get in the summertime when I trade in the Platinum and purchase the TRD Pro instead. But until such time, I still want to tinker with uh, Tundra Platinum to make sure that it has all the creature comforts I want. Now, there was supposed to be more than 50 accessories offered by Toyota for the Tundra, but so far I haven't seen a whole lot. Just the standard stuff from the OEM, such as tonal covers, running boards, uh, some accessory to do with the lighting and uh, to do with the step to get into the rear of the pickup truck, but not much more than that. So I'm hoping that as time goes by, Toyota will offer more options and features such as the lift kit, uh, as well as the, maybe the tow hooks, which I talked about in my previous video. But until Toyota offers more accessories, I'm hunting around for the best possible options out there. So please comment below if you have a suggestion as to which website or which company I should be looking into to get some additional accessories for the Tundra. For example, for the running board, I'm thinking of not going with the OEM and going with the aftermarket third-party ones because there are simply more choices. But for the tonal cover, I am getting the OEM one directly from Toyota because I have tried many different types of tonal covers from other companies such as Backflip and they tend to leak a little bit more because they're often lighter and not as heavy duty in terms of construction as the Toyota version. Although of course, even the Toyota version uh, is likely built by another company that was uh, hired by Toyota. The good thing about Toyota's tonal cover is that it's super heavy and super thick. So when you place them onto the pickup bed, it seats really well and therefore the seal around the tonal cover uh, on top of the pickup bed is secure and you don't get too much water leaking during the heavy rains, which we often get here in the west coast of Canada. So those are some of the considerations I have so far, but let me take you through some of the other third party uh, suppliers and websites so I can show you what I'm thinking of uh, and perhaps you can give me some feedback as to the type of accessories you think I should get for the Platinum and also whether or not you have some other uh, suggestions that I can look into. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the third-party options and accessories that are offered for the new Tundra. So here we are. We're going to quickly browse through some of the third-party suppliers. Now, um, not surprisingly, there aren't too many companies yet, I guess because they're all still testing the components and measuring and calibrating things. So there's not too many options yet, not even running boards from the aftermarket um, companies. I believe they are still working on those uh, designs. But uh, here's the one that uh, I'm familiar with, which is Rough Country. And if you go and click on 2022 Toyota Tundra, there's not too many choices yet. They do offer a few uh, bed cover and tunnel covers, as you can see. The one that I'm most likely interested in will be this uh, 1.75 inch leveling kit. This is new. This is something that uh, they just came up with. And uh, this is four the Tundra specifically, uh, whether it's two wheel drive or four wheel drive, it will raise the front section of the truck by 1.75 inches, bringing it more in line with the rear height. So one of the challenge, of course, uh, with most of the trucks you buy these days is that the front end is lower than the rear end, uh, partly because of the aerodynamics reason, uh, but also for other engineering reasons as well. Uh, but uh, here you can bring it up and make it at the same level as the rear. It's a pretty straightforward kit, but it does take two to three hours to install this. 
So it's not for faint of the heart. You might want to get someone to do it for you. Uh, it's a fair amount of work. So that's one thing I'm considering, although as I've mentioned before, I'm likely trading in my platinum for the TRD Pro Tundra in about six to seven month time. So I don't want to put too much money in. Now let's go and take a look at accessories from other vendors. Okay, so we are now at the Westin Automotive Parts uh, Supplier. They are very well known for producing all kinds of product, namely the uh, Nerf bar or step bars, and they have a lot. But the problem is that none of them are uh, customized for the 2022 Tundra yet. I understand it's coming very soon, but it's not yet on the website. I'm waiting for a response from Weston as to when that might come. And the reason why I really like this particular company is because they have a lot of different type of uh, step bars and running boards. And in particular, I like this one here, which is called the Extreme Nerve Step Bars. It kind of combines two things at the same time. So it kind of combines the uh, normal step bar with a slightly lower portion that is also wider and bigger to make it easier to step in and out of the truck. So this part is lower than the rest. And the rest is kind of like a chunky design. And it has a really cool look. So there's a couple different uh, photos here. And there's not too many company uh, that are producing this design. And so I'm hoping that uh, this HDX Extreme Nerve Step Bars will become available very soon for the Tundra. It is available for the 21 Tundra, but not yet for 2022. So as soon as that's available, I'm going to be uh, putting this one in. And they have uh, other things like the uh, grill guard, uh, front bumper, rear bumper. All these are going to be for heavy duty off-roading. And because we don't have uh, tow hooks in the new Tundra in the front, it's going to be really good to have um, aftermarket front bumpers for those of you who want to do some serious off-roading because you can have a winch and a tow bars, uh, tow hooks I should say, as well as a whole bunch of other things if you are able to replace the front bumper. I'm not gonna do that because I'm going to be trading in this Tundra in six months, but it's really cool to be able to see all these different kind of uh, options. And they have a good, uh, videos and other support uh, mechanism here as well. So they are a Canadian company, which makes it easier for me, but of course they sell uh, worldwide. So next we have tires and wheels. I deal with both uh, tire rack and 1010 tires. I actually prefer 1010 tires because they have a really good customer service, at least here in the West Coast of Canada. But anyhow, I mean the tire rack um, website just because they seem to have more choice for the 2022 Tundra. Now, no one is showing the 2022 Tundra wheels yet. I guess they're still sorting out the, uh, the offset and the correct spec. But as most of you guys already know, the 2022 Tundra has six lug nuts now for the wheels. So you have the same bolt pattern as the Forerunner and the Tacoma. So you can kind of figure out from there. But nevertheless, I don't plan to change my wheels yet, mainly because I don't plan to carry the wheels over to the TRD Pro version of the Tundra. So there's no point in buying a new wheels now. But I might want to still change the tires in the meantime because the Platinum model that I'm getting is probably a street or highway type tires, likely a Michelin or some other brands. We don't know exactly yet what tires are going to be on the Platinum that I'm getting. Now you might be asking me whether I would upgrade the size of the tires to a 35 or even a 37, but I'm not gonna do that on the Platinum because it doesn't make sense that Platinum is going to be for kind of daily driver and for street and highway use. But when I do get uh, TRD Pro, I may um, dramatically increase the size of the tire and then lift the truck a little bit more. So those are some options I will definitely think about, but not for the Platinum that I'm getting very shortly. Uh, so in the meantime, I got uh, the Tire Rack website here and just want to show you some options. There are lots of good choices and uh, some of the ones that I like are the General Grabber ATX. These tires are very underrated and underappreciated. I had them on my 2019 Forerunner and they were like amazing, amazing tires and also reasonable price. Um, there's Cooper Discover, which is also quite popular. The Continental Terrain Contact are actually very highly rated too, but they do not have the uh, Mountain Peak uh, logo, so they are not rated for all weather. Uh, and then there are KO2, which of course is standard by which everything is measured. 
Personally, I had the KO2 on a number of different vehicles and I'm not too crazy about them because they're super noisy and not very comfortable. But yes, they do last a long time, very durable and great on off-road. But if you spend most of your driving on a highway or in city roads, I just cannot recommend KO2. They're just uh, too much of an off-road tires for normal day-to-day -day drive. I wouldn't buy the Sumitomo tires and I don't recommend the Firestone, although the destination tires are very quiet. Um, Bridgestone Dueler it comes standard in many different type of models out there, but it's not an outstanding tires by any means. I would skip the Kumo tires and Hankook tires, although a lot of people do like the Dyna Pro. It just isn't for me. Uh, then Goodyear has a Wrangler Old Terrain with Kevlar. This is very similar to the one that's on Tacoma TRD Pro, which I just gave up because I'm buying a Tundra. Very good uh, balance between off-roading and street use. So actually, it's really, really good tires, but they also don't have the severe snow mountain peak. Uh, logo, so I'm gonna skip that. Uh, another Cooper Discovery, and then the Falcon Wild Peak AT3, which uh, is actually a standard tires now on some of the models at with the Tundra, such as the TRD Offroad. I know it's not gonna come with my Platinum, uh, so that could be a good option too. Those are very good tires. Uh, and then there's another different type of Wrangler. I don't know this one here. And Toyo Open Country, which is also quite popular among off-roaders. Uh, but like the uh, KO2, this is a bit too much of off-roading for me because 80% of my driving, maybe even 90% is street or highway use. So these guys will be a bit rough and noisy. And then there are a couple of highway all season tires, but obviously it wouldn't make sense for me to get these ones because most likely my Platinum will come with a Michelin Defender LTX or something similar. So I haven't decided yet, but if the price stays reasonable, I will either go with a Falcon uh, Wild Peak A23, or I really like General Grabber, so I might do the General Grabber ATX again. Uh, and then once the, I change over to TRD Pro, I'll decide what to do. Obviously, I can't carry the same tires because these are 20 inch, and the TRD Pro are going to be different size. But that's okay because it's easy to sell these tires on the Craigslist or something similar. Now, if for some reason I change my mind and I keep the Platinum and decided not to go for TRD Pro, then I will definitely change the wheels because the one that comes standard right now on the 2022 Tundra Platinum aren't all that great looking. They're kind of dark gray very discreet but not great design so i will definitely change them around and i'm sure in a few months time we will have lots of choice to pick from uh, either from tire rack or tent and tires so i'll wait and see and decide what to do with the wheels later on now going back to the oem accessories i've already ordered the um, bed mat which is really critical because the uh, tundra have a very slippery composite bed so having uh, what we call the bed mat which goes on top of the uh, bed and it's a very thick rubbery mat that thing is super super useful so i've already ordered that from the dealership and then i've also have the winter mats coming that's part of the package here in canada so we get them for free and also we do get the wheel locks at no additional charge so for rest of the smaller accessories such as a cell phone holder or some other minor things for the interior I'll just wait until the Tundra arrives and then I'll continue to look into those accessories and hopefully in a couple of weeks when my truck arrives there will be more options both from Toyota and aftermarket vendors and I can continue to update all of you guys with the type of accessories and options I'm going to be getting for my 2022 Tundra but for now I'm signing off thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you very soon